was <laughs> it's your boy the big jew in the spot don't make that muff get too hot coming at y'all with the first ever build video of nba 2k25 okay so first of all i'm gonna tell y'all that every time that i make my build i make my build way differently from everybody else and i feel like that is the main way to make your build in nba 2k25 you don't want to make a build that isn't to your liking that isn't to your play style you want to make a build that is you you understand you want to make a build that relates to you if you're not a mid-range shooter don't make a build that has mid-range if you aren't a dribbler don't make a build that can dribble this isn't the year to try new things a lot of people are out here in nba 2k25 struggling to shoot struggling to hit layups struggling to be good and i'm hearing a lot of people talk about retirement 25 is a little bit different it requires labbing up okay you're not going to be able to load up onto this game and just be a certified demon that isn't how things work this year you need to get into the mock court you need to be in the builder you need to be in the jump shot creator in the dunk style animations and just making sure that everything makes sense you gotta lab it up but enough of my talking i need to get into this demon right here this right here is my demon you hear me they call me a two-way board hunting stretch Ooh, so now this bill right here um i don't know if you guys have been noticing but um in nba 2k25 a lot of people are going six seven for the big men instead of what we're used to six eights and six nines due to like the stats of it and uh it just isn't as good as it i don't know who would have thought that we would have been making six seven power forwards in nba 2k25 that has never been a thing but you know i can't complain because my build is goaded right so this build right here like i said it's 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 to my play style but i'm sure a lot of people play like me i, I want to call it a popper this is a popper build i do shoot good on this build i know a lot of people are out here struggling to shoot yes there needs to be an update there needs to be some type of update some type or something in order to fix this because it doesn't make sense why one game i'll shoot four for four five for five and then the next game i'm three for eleven 2k if you're watching this video let's get to it and i'm a shooter so if i'm missing in this game that should tell you something is up facts something is up okay so let's get into it now let's get into it let's get into it so it's crazy because the two-way board hunting stretch wasn't even my first build my first build was the two-way stretch four which i will be making a youtube video on that as well make sure y'all do me a quick favor if you're new to the channel hit the like button subscribe for all those post notifications i know i've been very 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 inconsistent and i apologize from the bottom of my heart guys i just been so lost you hear me i've been lost and um i haven't been knowing what exactly to post on this youtube channel so that being said i'm gonna post whatever the hell i want to post and you guys are gonna support me however much you guys want to support you understand no matter what it is whether it's call of duty it could be fortnite it can be 2k it can be I, in real life videos anything that i've like you know you understand what i you, what i'm trying to say guys i'm gonna be posting everything on this channel it doesn't make any sense to split the channels up have one for gaming and then have one for real life content because i don't really even go outside like that so now when i realize that i have to go outside to get some of this content and i'm not really leaving my crib it just made me start what is the word that i'm saying like just in my head too much not really knowing what to post on the channel consistent uploads you hear me consistent uploads i got jump shot videos i got everything i need everybody if you made it to this part of the video comment right now comment jew america big jew i want to see do america and big jew in the comments all right so now for the for the for the position for the height weight wingspan i went 235 i'm a little light but listen trust me everything that i did here was for a reason and i'm gonna show you exactly why so now first i made the, the weight six seven because according to the six eight and the six nine stats they're not as good as the six seven and the type of player that i am i like to be fast i like to move around i like to date and play the lanes to still be able to get back to my man so 
that being said this is probably the best deal for me so now I'm, let me break it down real quick so i went let's start with the defense i went with a 90 perimeter defense and the reason why i went for a 90 perimeter is because this year in nba 2k25 we have skill gaps skill caps cap breakers that's what it's called we have cap breakers so now with the cap breakers you unlock them at starter three which gives you an opportunity to put this plus one badge onto one of your attributes that you didn't max out or that there is not a threshold on you see so now for example my defensive rebound is a 92 but i can't put the plus one cap on it because i have no more it's max you get me so that being said when i hit starter three and i put two cap breakers onto my perimeter defense not only would it bring my challenger to a 92 but it'll also bring my onboard menace to a 90 or it'll, it'll turn it gold as well and being that it being that is gold i can also put the plus one badge because there also is a i don't really know how to explain it honestly like some of this stuff in this game is very very new and i'm trying to like it used to it my damn self but you can upgrade your badge you understand say your badge is gold and you want to make it hall of fame there is a yo you guys will see i'll show you guys later on in the video but because I, I can't really explain it right now but we have an 85 still i've played way more than enough games to tell you guys that the 85 still is perfect you don't need anything more than the 85 still um the lanes is is great in this game i like it kind of op guards can get steals anybody can get a steal but on ball steals is non-existent blitzes are good i get a lot of blitzes on this player as well 84 block the only reason why i went 84 block is because you don't get anything else until like 96 and i don't have the height to get that so 84 blocks so we can get high flying denier and paint patroller on silver and I put a off my offensive rebound. I kept it at an 81 and put my defensive rebound at a 92. Cause once I get one of my cap breakers, I could put two more on them and get my box out beast to Hall of Fame. And not only can I put my box out beast Hall of Fame with the plus one badge, I can turn my rebound chase to Hall of Fame as well. That's gonna be a crazy, crazy, crazy thing to like i'm telling y'all that little plus one thing that they added to the game is kind of crazy y'all you, you guys are gonna figure it out so now being that i'm six seven i decided that the you gotta have some type of high vertical you get me if you don't have a high vertical at six seven it kind of defeats the purpose of being short i'm rebounding over centers who are seven feet seven one six eleven all of these tall centers as long as i have box animations i'm good and even if i don't have box animations i'm worming them pause gotta pause that i'm worming them i'm jumping over their heads it's nasty out here you hear me it's nasty but we making it work the 79 three ball so you know we have to go high mid-range for the badges you want high mid-range for the badges and for the jump shot animations as well 79 mid-range this is really up to your liking if you feel like you don't need a 79 mid-range in order to shoot then guess what don't make a 79 mid-range oh i mean 79 three lower it to like a 75 or 76 i don't know now i was a little skeptical on the 72 standing dunk because the 72 standing dunk gives you rise up but i just didn't know if this 72 would trigger a lot of the dunk animations or stand and dunk animations. when i first made the build i didn't dunk a lot at all but what i realized is in order to get standing dunks driving dunk is attached to it just like last year in 2k24 so the more that you upgrade your build i think it's like a 36 or a 40 rate that's what you need in order to start getting consistent standing dunks but as soon as you upgrade your player you'll see for sure this player dunks the ball a lot. 70 interior. You don't really want to. If you play good defense, you don't need a high ass interior. I mean, it may it kind of makes sense to put your interior high though, because we are 6'7, and sometimes you do go against a lot of 10, 6, 11 big men, and right stick up doesn't work sometimes. You have to jump because you don't get that contest. So that's really up to you. This is a park build. So the 68 pass accuracy was kind of my personal preference. Me personally, I'm launching the ball down the court with a 68 pass act you wouldn't even thought that i had a 68 pass act but you can customize that up and change it to your liking remember 
this build right here is to my liking so if there's anything that you see in this build that you don't like and you feel that you don't need and want to change be free to do so it could be better for you this was what was better for me right but this is the build right here i got the jump shot video coming out for you guys i'm about to show y'all some gameplay real quick of me on the two way forward running stretch you hear me i appreciate you guys for this video right here make sure to comment big Jew, america comment the flames comment we here like the, like the video we back let's get right